Okay, your tinfoil hats. Oh my god. Is it is it one of those? I think the five elders don't have souls. I think the summoning circle is them summoning their soul from the underworld. But I am genuinely starting to think the devil fruits are a technology that was made 800 years ago. That is why this war started, because they realized that the balance of power will be terribly... Okay. Chapter 1095. Better off dead in this world. Well, that's morbid. That's morbid. Better off dead in this world. Buggy chasing after a squirrel mon squirrel monkey that stole his trademark nose. Incredible. Very cute. Very cute. This is one of those reader requests that at least makes sense. It is still oddly specific, but at least it makes sense. Okay, let's get into it. Uh, St. Saturn has disembarked. All units but vice admirals, uh, vice and rear admirals maintain distance from the island center. Avert your eyes from his holy form. What? When did he come ashore? And how? I've only seen them in portraits. What are those flashes of lightning? That is hockey, my dude. The admirals themselves will act for a single celestial dragon. And these are the pinnacle of those gods. Very menacing. Uh, Bonnie, what have you- Oh, right! I forgot about that. Bonnie is sticking in his, in his, like, stomach, slash, chest, slash, uh, I guess neck. I, I don't know, I don't know how his body looks like. He has a big beard. She stabbed him, I forgot about that. That man stands atop the wor very world itself. Ready your weapons. Pipe down, you insects. If I were afraid of her, her sword, I would have avoided it. Well then. Wait. What happened to Sanji? Did he just get knocked back? Saturn is flex- He is flexing, but what happened to Sanji? Because he's running, and he's just bam, and he's flying backwards. Did the blood vanish? Okay. The blood vanishing isn't actually that big of a deal because we have Marco. Marco is a phoenix, and he also had healing abilities, right? So that's not a big deal. Why the hell is Sanji just not- Hold on, is this some sort of- Because obviously, Shanks could knock people- Well, not just Shanks, Luffy did as well. Shanks and Luffy could knock people out with their hockey. He's like the next level of that? To actually blast people? Uh, seize Vegapunk's group, now while well, we have the chance. Wait, you fools. Don't be hasty. They cannot escape. Just ready your weapons. This is rather sluggish work by your standards, Kizaru. Which, by the way, I don't think I said this last time. Oda, very cheeky. The fact that they basically knocked each other out at the same time, very cheeky. Very cheeky. Okay, so he's gonna kill Luffy. Great. And Frankie is once again the goat. He just punches him out of the way. <laughs> A pirate crew that cooperates. So even the guys who rule the world want uh, want her captain's head. Ga ha 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 ha. Can we can we just appreciate Frankie? Because didn't he didn't he try to fight um uh, Kizaru as well? Because they think he did his laser beam on Kizaru and it obviously didn't work. Frankie is such a mega chad. Like don't get me wrong, Zoro and Sanji obviously they're doing the fighting. But Frankie, let's not sleep on Frankie. Straw Hat Luffy Jewelry Bonnie. We fail to anticipate your presence here. But if your fate is strong enough to escape this desperate situation, I would very much like to see it. He did the same thing to low grade Marines last chapter, except his head exploded. What? Okay, we're doing a we're doing a rare detour. We're going back to the previous chapter. I don't remember someone's head exploding. Because if he can explode a weak Marine's head then I think that's- that's what it might be. It's just like their- uh, their hockey can actually manifest. Okay, yes. His eyes glowed and one of the marines just- Which, by the way, okay. Yeah, it- it is an actual, so... It is a legit power that he has, okay. Because clearly, the fact that he sh just like, breaks one of the marines and doesn't do anything to the other ones, this is like the author's hand, pretty clearly, right? That's just like depicting his power, because the rest of the marines, he doesn't attack. So it is just showing us that it is an actual ability. Well, that's not good. That's not good. There's just devil fruit power? I'm not sure. And uh, which, by the way, I think I've said this before. That's why I don't like hockey, because you can never discern what is a devil fruit power, what is hockey. That's why I don't really like hockey as a power system across the board, really. 
in certain ways, I think it does level out like weaker devil fruits and stronger devil fruits. But at the same time, it makes for situations like these where you have you, you don't even know which is which. Because hockey is such a soft magic system and devil fruits are a hard magic system. And when you blend two of those together, you get some interesting results. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, and you, Vegapunk, your betrayal is the most disappointing. Which, by the way, um, another side note. The fact that he is a devil, if we go with like, um, like, I don't know, some sort of Medusa angle, it could be his devil fruit. It could be. Um, and you, Vegapunk, your betrayal is most disappointing. Uh, but your great service to our military is appreciated. Which of you should die first? Tell me from least to most painful. I want you to die with nothing but regret for your rebellion against the world governments. Hey, yo. That is very morbid. I mean... <laughs> okay. Okay. How do you want me to interpret this? Do you want me to say that it's once again the five elder clowns being the five elder clowns when they literally have Luffy, their biggest enemy, in their entire history? Ever? Literally ever? They have him right now? And instead of killing him instantly and putting an end to this, he's like, Tell me, how do I inflict the most emotional damage? How do I go one by one and I will force you to watch? Maybe this is why they're going to be defeated. <laughs> Okay, okay. Obviously, the angle here is that they just want to break them completely and send a message. I get that. It's still kind of goofy. It's still kind of goofy. My question is still, how can Vegapunk escape if his brain is left on the island? Yes, the whole brain uploading thing and synchronizing thing is still like, um... Still like, obviously, a point of confusion that we need to figure out. We'll see. I think it's his devil food because of the eyes. Well, yes and no, because every single time, well, not every single time, but when hockey was introduced, it was introduced through eyes. When Shanks used his hockey in literally episode one, it was through his eyes. When Luffy used hockey, it was through his eyes. When Rayleigh showed off his hockey, it was also with the focus on his eyes. So usually it's eyes for hockey, but it could be a devil food. I don't know. But okay, so this guy is actually going. Oh my God, that is very, very morbid. Dude's actually pulling like a like a freaking uh freaking Game of Thrones, like a Negan. Tell me tell me the order you want to die. Which one of you is the leader? Okay. Why is it that human beings the need to Wait what? Why is it that human beings feel the need to do what they are explicitly forbidden for doing? And again, human beings. Human beings. The surface. It's been so long. Human beings. Very old, very old dudes. Devils. Devil fruits. False gods. Hmm. Okay. Starting to... Starting to wonder how Brooke is gonna play into all of this. Um, can anyone else move? No, I can't. It's like I'm being held down. If this is not science, then it must be devil fruit powers. You killed my father, Saturn. Vegapunk saying this, that it's not science, it must be Devil Fruit powers. I think that confirms that this is not like some weird advanced science. We talked about this last time, right? But the saying of um, when science is advanced enough, it will just look like magic. Vegapunk saying this, again, I think is just Oda telling us, no, it's Devil Fruits. So everything we're seeing right now is his Devil Fruit. So that, so that pentagram, Devil Fruit. I'm just thinking... Yeah, like, the, the, the whole detachment from humanity and calling them humans, that's like the typical thing you do with these things, right? When you think you're so powerful and almighty, you call others, Oh, you feeble human. Oh, you mortal. Things like that, right? It's like what we see in every single fantasy. Uh, especially like mortals, right? It's like, oh, you pitiful mortal. But it makes me wonder, Brook's soul came back from the underworld. I'm wondering whether there could be some sort of they sold their souls for these powers. Which is like the typical thing you see with the devil, right? Made a deal with the devil, and you got this power. The surface has been so long. This thing taking over his body. Appearing from a literal pentagram. Being summoned from the underworld. The Brook's soul thing. 
The fact that Brooks saw was a tangible thing that couldn't find Brooks' body, no shot is that something Oda just wrote in. I don't believe it. I don't. Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Okay, I see what you meant by, uh, by tinfoil. Uh, Kuma, you mean he was born into a slave castle, uh, or caste, the descendants of a clan that once committed a grave crime against the world, the last survivor of the extin extinct Buccaneer people. Buccaneer? What the hell do Buccaneers have to do with this? What is the... Because Buccaneers are like actual, actual official pirates, right? Buccaneer. A person who attacked and stole from ships at sea, especially someone who allowed to allowed by a government to do this in the 17th and 18th centuries. I thought so, yeah. Also, wait, hold on. Let's check Kuroto memory. Uh, let me just um, let me open this up. Let me show you something. There is something that I've always thought was odd. There is something that I've always thought was odd. Look at this. I really hope it wasn't literally edited today, and I just noticed it and I thought it was weird. It probably was edited today now that I think about it. It must have been, right? Was it edited today? Because I saw this and I thought the word buccaneer there is weird. Has it changed? Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Buccaneer people. Think it's a coincidence? Tales of the Buccaneer Red Hair Shanks. I don't know. I noticed it, and I thought it was weird. Buccaneer people. I mean, clearly there must be... Like, using a word buccaneer to talk about a specific group of people? It must be intentional. You don't just randomly use a word that actually exists. Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Bonnie. Ever since I was a boy, I wanted to be a hero who could save the imprisoned and suffering. Wait, this is what she saw? Oh my god, is, the, is this actually the... Just like Nika, the warrior of liberation. Aim for the head, men. Nika. That's right. He's my idol. He appears from the blue with laughter and this rhythm. Doom dot... I'm not, I'm not going to try to read the whole thing out. Bonnie, leave her alone. She's still just a child. Will he come and free me too? Of course. Oh, here we go. 47 years ago, South Blue Sorbet Kingdom. Bonnie entered the paths. It's time for the paths. It's a big, healthy boy. Congratulations. I'm so glad you've come out to see us, Koob. Oh, this is Kuma being born. His blood? Don't worry, I won't speak of it. He's a healthy boy. Government angels showed up at the hospital. I'm, so, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. It's me. I'm the one who has buccaneer blood. What? Why don't you move faster? That hurts. Stop bawling or out. What the hell? My master is so kind and gentle. I'm very lucky. Jesus Christ, where did this come out of? She's in heaven now, but I think she's better off that way. The warrior of liberation will come, he'll, come, he'll show up and save you, the sun god Nika. He's a legendary warrior whose story is told throughout our buccaneer heritage. One day he'll show up and take you out under the sun to the freedom of the sea. Nika is always smiling and laughing, and his rhythm brings laughter to the people. And even that is... Wait, what? Who was... Did he just... Oh my god! I thought it was...
what the hell? How, where did this come out of? It just literally starts from... It's like, like 47 years ago, three panels later. Pe oh my god. Okay, 38 years ago, West Blue. You've waited three long years, so now it's time again for a great sports. Our arena this time shall be the unaffiliated land of God Valley. Did you notice Kuma's dad has an eye missing? No, I didn't even notice that. Thank you for t <laughs> thank you for telling me. Oh my God, that splat! Like, if you want to talk about emotional damage real quick, this is how you do these scenes. If you want to maximize emotional damage, this is how you do it. How much you want to bet that when we see the scene in the anime, it's going to be dead silence, Kuma is going to be smiling, and in slow motion, blood will flicker on his face and you just hear the splat. God Valley. I, I will tell you right now, I said before the stream, I saw God Valley will be in this chapter in some form. It didn't matter. This is not what I thought. <laughs> okay. Okay. We will hold our customary manhunt event, uh, customary manhunt here. This place, which has the audacity to name itself the Valley of God, possesses ample natural resources. You intend to kill my people for a game? It's insanity. Also, wait, hold on. What's up with the chests? What, what's up with the chests? They're clearly holding a competition. But why show chests? What does that say? I think that's just general store. Okay, let's keep going. Oh god, it's you. Okay, bef before I get to him. Uh, not so fast Saint Garling. No head starts. He's already struck down the king of the natives. The handicap will make for better competition. Holy Knight Saint Figureland Garling. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna start calling him Garlic, by the way. We have a selection of problem slaves and criminals to hunt. They've caught the escaped child, sir, the buccaneer boy. And I mean We've we've seen this a number of times already, right? Because I think we saw like the silhouettes with Vegapunk. He's immortal. He looks exactly the same. Clearly he's immortal. I'm actually stun locked. He look like it's not it's not that he looks similar, he looks literally exactly the same. Look at Garlic and look at Shanks point made. I mean, the Figurlin name was mentioned in the um where was it mentioned? It was mentioned somewhere. So yeah. Damn you for running away, they're going to hold all ten of us responsible. If you escape, they'll kill everyone. Yeehaw okay. Hold it right there. You must be the grand prize, the buccaneer. Ah, oh, no wonder you're so big. You've got giant's blood, I hear. Slave Ginny? My bro's pretty tough too, huh? Only my face. Look at all those gloomy, miserable faces. Well, I choose life. What about you? Film Red, I thought so, yeah, I think it was in the Film Red. I think so. Speaking of... Huh... I mean, it, it it is a generic chest. It is a generic chest, the devil fruit chest, the one Luffy has. But I also think that's what it is. So, they're holding tournaments for devil fruits? No shot, right? Ginny is straight up Ma uh, Bonnie's mom? I have no idea. Who is Ginny? Okay. This chapter has a lot to unpack. First of all, I need to get the timeline straight. This is 38 years ago, right? 38 years ago. And this is where Shanks is found, right? 38 years ago, God Valley incident. The Rock Pirates attacked several world nobles and their slaves on God, Va uh, God Valley. Garp and Roger join forces, defeat the crew, leading to Rox's death. Garp becomes world famous and earns his title, the Hero of the Marines. As a baby, Shanks is found by the Roger Pirates inside a treasure chest at God Valley. Okay. So chances are, this is actually going to be the Rock's flashback. Buccaneer. And why is Kid Shanks in a chest? 
now that we know the context behind this, why the hell is Shanks a prize? Unless someone swapped him out. I heard that in Japanese, Ginny rhymes with Bonnie. Yeah, I have no idea. This will be the most stacked flashback of all time. Garp, Shanks, Kuma, I Ivankov, Rogers, Roxas crew. I have literally no idea. Rox pulled up on God, Val God Valley to stop the Hunger Games. Basically, what I'm very, very interested in is why Buccaneer? I'm just trying to think of in the context of like now it has been made very, very clear, right? The the current, um, the current, whatchamacallits, the five elders, they are false gods. They are actually devils, clearly, right? So you sort of want to start questioning the, the language. Why are devil fruits called devil fruits, for example? Right? God Valley and all that. I think it's I think it's important to start questioning the language that they use. So now I'm beginning to wonder whether these holy knights and stuff like that. So they have giants blood in them. So buccaneers, I guess. I have so many questions. They they show up to an island to just kill everyone. And the holy knights are also taking part. I'm so confused. <laughs> Put him into a chest for safety if they were slaughter slaughtering celestial dragons. That makes sense. That makes sense. If he was actually being hidden, not swapped out. If he was put in a chest to protect him and he was just accidentally yoinked. That makes sense. I do think that like, obviously it was never explained fully, right? But what we've heard of devil fruits currently is that they're born out of desire. So if, if a person wants for wants something, you'll eventually somehow, some way, maybe not for everyone, but that's how a devil fruit is formed. So if the legend of Joy Boy is passed down through generations and generations, or Nika, I guess, his fruit, I guess, grows stronger, something like that. So literal devil, devil fruits should work by the same logic. And then darkness should be another one. This chapter makes me inclined on the rocks is a good guy theory. I don't think he needs to be a good guy. Because, I mean, showing up and freeing a bunch of uh, a bunch of um, slaves, he could technically just, like, tell them you could join me, and he could still be a bad pirate. You know, it doesn't necessarily mean that he's a good guy. I think it would be an interesting twist. Which would also, by the way, if it does turn out to be that, I think it'd be really interesting from Blackbeard's perspective, right? Because his ship is called um, Zebek Saber, right? So if he thinks of himself as that, like, liberator as well, that could make for very, very interesting interactions with Luffy. Now that Luffy has been revealed to be Joy Boy. Because Blackbeard is in many ways a pseudo-liberator as well. That's what makes him, you know, the, the whole antithesis of Luffy. He does pursue freedom in a way. So if he considers him to be that, himself to be that, that could be interesting. I like that. A clan that once committed a grave crime against the world. And like, the thing is, like, he is literally an unreliable narrator. Like, he is literally, everything that comes out of his mouth is from his perspective, right? That's why he calls himself a god when he is a literal devil. So, what the hell does a grave crime against the world mean? Because there is another thing that has committed a grave crime against the world, and that is uh, Zunisha, right? Zunisha was also forced to walk the, the earth forever because of a crime. And Zunisha was Joy Boy's most loyal companion. I am so confused. <laughs> um, if the Gorosei are devils, can we call devil fruits Saturns? <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting that. I haven't been this stunlocked by a chapter in a long time. This chapter is like so dense of lore and emotional damage and that's not even mentioning that we still don't understand how, how his freaking devil fruit power even works. It's also interesting that there is a split. It seems that they're going out of their way. Well, Ode is going out of his way to separate the sun god Nika from Joy Boy. And I'm wondering whether that is deliberate or not. Because I'm starting to wonder whether one of these is just... Like, if there was never... One of them. Because we heard Joy Boy in Fishman Island, and Sun God Nika has popped up recently. So I'm wondering if, if the Sun God Nika could just be a completely made-up concept. 
Dragon might come here too. That's a revolutionary's first mate. This flashback could potentially be the most insane thing Oda has ever written. And it would be very poetic if we see how this all started and cut to how it is now. Ginny. This- oh no. This is a flashback. And we just got introduced to a new character. Do you know what that means? Ginny doesn't make it. <laughs> oh no! Uh, knowing there was an extremely development in science and country into so many joy boys, Nika could have um, been Fruit's name or his, uh, or his smile. The whole 800 years and the whole the fact that they had like super advanced technology, it would be interesting if like way back in the day there was this clash between gods and technology. You know? And clearly we know who won out. We know who won. <laughs> now I'm thinking like, if it is... If it is like holy knights and a crusade of sorts, and they're called devil fruits, and again, technology so advanced that it looks like magic, and 800 years ago technology was super advanced but it was hidden from the world, I'm starting to think that what I said like years ago, about how I think the original war was the world government trying to make the devil fruits seem like the devil and banning them, because they upset the balance of power. If the if the actual devil fruits turn out to be science, I'm actually going to... Like, if the devil fruits actually turn out to be technology. Because I, I think there's a reason why they're called devil fruits, and I don't think it's just because of the, um... Just because of Davy Jones. I don't. If this literally turns out to be, like, Attack on Titan... <laughs> I mean, there's a reason why... Why I think uh, stories like Attack on Titan are so prevalent, right? But you know what is interesting? You know what's very, very interesting to me? Hold on. Let me go to the previous chapter. Pacifistas stand down, the five elders. Okay, so he just said Nika. Because I was thinking, like, again, a matter of language, right? So Saturn addresses Luffy as just Nika. That's it. Just one, na uh, just one word and that's it. Could it imply that they were on a first name basis? This flashback could unironically put in perspective the whole One Piece present day with all the players in place. I think so. I think so. It seems like, you know, a lot of these things, like, again, this is one of those times where I really want, where I really, really wish I was still binging the story. Because these patterns are so much easier to see when you're, when you're just ripping through the story without thinking about all of these small details so much. The fact that God Valley has a split in the middle, that's not something that happens on accident. That is a decision. The fact that it's called God Valley. It's not an accident. That is a decision. The fact that we now have a very clear split in devils and gods happening right now is not an accident. That is a decision. All of these things, there is a picture forming. Yeah, you bring up a very, very good point, right? Still think someone invented devil fruits to bring joy, which is exactly what I mean, right? If you could, if this is science, if devil fruits are science, right? It is literally a thing, if what Vegapunk said, that what you desire is what's created. If that is what they were literally making 800 years ago in the Ancient Kingdom, and they realized that, hold on, if people can create devil fruits that give them their, like, their deepest desires, that's not good for control. And that's why this war started. That's why they started this whole, they are the fruits of the devil. That is why they started to po pose themselves as holy knights. And that's why there started to be like this, um, this crusade against everything. Because they wanted to stop the spread of devil fruits. And that's why the ancient kingdom was super advanced in tech. Because devil fruits were actually a super advanced piece of technology that literally solved all of the world's problems. But if you solve all of the world's problems, there is no power structure anymore. What does the world government want? A power structure. That's what I mean. Paying attention to the language they use. Devil fruits. And their gods. I don't think that is a coincidence. I think there's a like a very good reason why they're trying to um pose it as such. Every three oh wait, hold on. Every three years? This is 38 years ago. Wh wh where did you get every three years? Let me make sure that this that's actually it. We have waited three uh three long years. 38 years ago. You know what happens when it when it hits 39? There's another one. So either this year, sometime in the world of One Piece, or next year in the world of One Piece, 
This will happen again. It's gotta be Elbaf, right? That's the war for Elbaf, right? Oh my god. When did, when did the flashback? 47 years ago, okay. So very, very soon there will be another event. That's not good. The One Piece government is a fusion of oligarchy, monarchy, and the theocracy. They're basically they're basically a combination of all the bad things. <laughs> 38 years? That is such a specific number, especially when you say we've waited. Like again, think of the dialogue, writing down the dialogue. How do you write this? Three long years, it happens every three years. We're holding these events. 38 years. We're on the 39th. 100% there's one happening. Okay, and if that is Elba, oh my god, if we are fighting for Elbaf and that's what it is, that would be so good. If we are protecting the world tree, if we are fighting for the world tree, oh my god. Uh, I think that when Luffy reawakens Gear 5, Bonnie is going to connect to uh, connect it to Nika. Um, well, I mean, the robot is still on the way, right? This is something I'd completely forgotten about. We already saw the robot awaken. So I think what's going to happen on Egghead is the robot will awaken. And by the way, I'm pretty sure, maybe not, was the robot's eyes also like gloopy or was it just glowing? Because if they were just glowing, then then never mind. If they were also gloopy, the robot might actually be something, something very, very important. Because gloopy eyes, that's important. You literally have the big navy men, the revolutionaries, the big pirates and the world government here. Yes. Yes. Okay, so right now, I, I, I think I'm just going to wrap it up because... <laughs> <laughs> There's a break next week. I've gone on a on a roller coaster of emotions. Um, basically, what I think is gonna happen. Let me summarize my thoughts on this chapter. I think Egghead ends with the giant awakening, and us getting away. I still don't like. I don't think we're going to be defeated here. I think we are already taken a beating, and we know what we're facing. Uh, like what what we're facing next, right? Literally seeing a demon face to face, real bad. So we know who we're facing. We just somehow need to get Bonnie out as well. I don't know if that single giant is capable of capable of fighting everyone off, but I think that's what it is, right? That giant is there for a purpose and Oda has kept him hidden. And we still don't forget about the Blackbeard ship that is still on the island. We still don't know who that is. That is either Lafitte or Katarina. There is still a Blackbeard ship here as well. Let's not forget that. Those two things, I think will be enough for us to get out. I swear to God, if there is a Blackbeard and Luffy alliance, I will actually lose my mind. Um, so that's what I think is going to happen on Egghead. As far as this goes, though, this is completely just dragging very, very loose threads. But I am genuinely starting to think that Devil Fruits are a technology that was made 800 years ago. That is why this war started, because they realized that the balance of power will be terribly upset if everyone can just manifest their desires. That's why they started to reframe themselves as holy. That's why they fought, uh, fought off against them. And that is why the whole believing in a savior was their biggest, biggest danger. Because if people started to desire a savior, he was manifested. Because that's literally what Devil Fruits are. A manifestation of one's wishes. And that's what made Joy Boy dangerous. So what they were trying to do is crush hope by trying to reframe it as the devil. That's my insane theory right now. Because the fact that there was a civilization 800 years ago with advanced technology seems sus. That's not the One Piece we knew. There's a reason why that was now written in. I still don't know how, how the whole Shanks thing plays out here and Rox is on his way. Oh my god. This chapter was great. This chapter was insane! <laughs> and like... This is... I meme about this, right? But the fact that we we flash back 47 years ago, we see Kuma being born, and two chapters later, we're just being slammed. Not two... Did I say two chapters? Like two pages later, we're just slammed with everyone around him dying and him being alone. It is so densely and effectively written. It's insane. I think this is the instigating factor and the instigating knowledge that will lead us into the final war. I think everything that's going to go down here is so important that small details matter, basically. Uh, what if the different races is uh, just science making people having long legs being giants? That's why they were excluded uh, and being ancient kingdom allies. I honestly kind of dig that. I kind of dig that. I like but my favorite part about this chapter. My favorite part about this chapter is that I've said like a thousand different ideas and different things. 
absolutely none of them are probably right. Absolutely none of them probably matter. That is the best thing about this chapter. It is so, like, everything in your face. It's glorious. And the fact that we have now reached the point where I can no longer use the meme of Oda writes something in and you need to remember about a detail 500 chapters later. That is another thing. Because we just heard of the Holy Knights. We literally just heard that they even exist. We see a Holy Knight right now. Like, the timeline on everything is so, so small now. It's insane. I still think, like, the, like the only big red flag, which I guess we've now sort of, sort of figured out, is why the world government was constantly chasing Bonnie. Which I guess we sort of know, uh, know now. Ima imagine if in the past they tried to recreate giants just like Caesar Clown. I was about to say, I read your first line about recreating giants, and I was like, yes, that's exactly what they were trying to do. That's exactly what they were already trying to do, you know? Multiple races, long legs, arms, and necks, and all that. I think so. I think so. And I think that will be like the, if, if my whole completely out there idea of it being that, right? Like them trying to fight science itself to maintain control. Um, if it does turn out to be that, I think it would be the perfect irony that they are the ones using that exact power to maintain control over everyone else. You know, if what they were trying to do is recreate these things themselves and using devil fruits themselves, trying to make like the perfect soldier, basically, to maintain control in the rest of the world, to maintain just like their power. And also a completely wild idea. I think the five elders don't have souls. I think so. I think the summoning circle is them summoning their soul from the underworld. And I think that might be how they don't age. I just came up with that. Literally, I literally came up with that five seconds ago. The reason why they don't age is because they don't have a soul, just like Brook. That's why he's a skeleton. He didn't have a soul. He died. He he actually no, it's the complete opposite, right? Because because he died and became a skeleton. Never mind. <laughs> this is just insane. Rating for this chapter, I'm still not gonna do it. Nine point nine 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 out of ten. Still not a ten. Still not. This chapter is insane. I think Saturn's Devil Fruit has just taken uh, over control instead of him not having a soul. That's why he called Luffy Nika. It, I think it is something like that, but I will keep, until we hear that it's not that, I refuse to believe that Oda wrote in a skeleton whose soul couldn't find his body from the underworld, and now we have devils saying the surface how long it's been and summoning themselves through a pentagram. I refuse to believe that that is a coincidence. I refuse to believe that. And there is a reason why every single story has always said you're, you're selling your soul to the devil, you're making a deal with the devil. Right? That's what the Devil Fruits effectively are by giving up your ability to swim. Okay. Can we get much higher? I don't think we can. I don't think I can get much higher. I don't think we can get much higher. I think I think this is Oda's peak. I love this. I love this. Knowing Oda, Devil Fruits will have the saddest story ever, like locking people's souls into fruits. <laughs> oh my god, ima imagine if Devil Fruits... Imagine if Devil Fruits were supposed... Oh my god! Because zones take over your mind, right? Imagine if Devil Fruits were originally like a way to preserve a human, like we do, we're, like we're talking about cryo freeze, uh, cryo freezing people, right? Like cryo sleep. Imagine if that's what a Devil Fruit is. It's just like putting a dead person inside of the fruit. <laughs> anyway, thank you for being here today. Um, I'll be thinking about this a lot. I guess very thematically. In a couple days, we're gonna have the new Diablo season, so maybe some ideas will spring up there. <laughs> Uh, I, I, I'm so excited to see where this goes. Please, please don't tell me we're going to flash back to today. Please don't tell me this is going to be... Just tell me this is a flashback. Just tell me this is a flashback for like 50 chapters now. Give me the full history of the world. This has me stunlocked.